Alright, so I'm about to make this little quick video to show you how this cabinet should look like in, on the inside. This cabinet should be made out of pine. It should be one by one and a half for all the stripes. Three and a half inches for the actual cabinet. So you have the flag on the top, open it in three pieces, which I'm about to show you. The cabinet, and then the back side of it has a quarter inch plywood inset and then a french cleat will be mounted on the back to open it up or to hang it up on the wall alright so opening the stripes in the union the first one uh, we'll start with this one bottom long stripes open up the cabinet at the union Lastly, we have the top stripes. And then for a quick peek on the inside of things that you should be able to fit, we'll get rid of this first set down here so we can see better. Alright, so real quick from the outside, box made by um, one by three or one by three and a half boards on the outside to create the frame you have cabinet door hinges one per compartment you also have the shocks on the side mounted as of right now I have one per opening but uh, it would all depends on once I put everything together how the doors open and close uh, to avoid any issues with it um, some of the other components that you have is the RFID lock that goes on the actual door so that you can utilize a key on the outside disengage the lock and open that what you see up here these little tabs belong to each door I have to mount that on it so that you only have one lock on this main component and once you open this, this compartment the rest of the compartments open automatic because of all the uh, shock absorbers that will be pushing outwards on their normal state starting from the bottom up here uh, you have this measure it real quick from wall to wall so you have 34 inches and a half of storage this is an M4 actual side M4 and it's a butt stuck it's extended all the way out you see you fit more magazines in here um, still thinking about different ways to holding the actual AR on it I'm thinking of a wooden rack that is uh, set into the background, one on this side, one on this side, so it's more modular and you can set different styles of rifles, not necessarily set for only one rifle, it, then uh, that, that should make that space very good. You can also use the foam, the foam is a little more expensive, I wouldn't advise using that. Um, and then this compartment again will lock with this tab and this tab is added to the door for the with the bottom stripes all right starting on the top right this is a Glock I want to say it's a Glock 17 uh, let's measure this compartment so this compartment is 10 inches you fit multiple magazines in there if we have a view from the side and remove this panel right here so that you can see how everything sits in there you can actually fit a lot more than, than just that one everything else in here fits perfect with the magazines and the rifle with everything on it uh, then on this side right here you could pretty much put another gun in there you have almost 10 inches in that same spot right there I thought it would be cool to have whatever ammunition you want to add in there these are actual sizes. Uh, the box again is three and a half. Actually, this uh, turned out to be a little shy. Uh, so the compartment is two and three quarters because a half of inch is being subtracted from the back side to inset the back panel. So that would give you enough space in there to set. Uh, 
the actual boxes and more ammunition or whatever you want to put in there. Got the earmuff set in there, <laughs> little touch in there. And then this will be your typical, typically your main compartment. Uh, this box measures nine and a quarter by uh, 12, 13 and one eight. So just threw that in there, but technically you can add whatever you want or keep it empty. And I think I noticed something this bar right here this wooden board will have to be changed because right now it looks like it's a half inch and this would need to be uh, three quarters of an inch rather than a half inch uh, because of the space in the bottom I would remove that space from the top so that I can maintain the space on the bottom of this box right here so that will be adding about a quarter of an inch. It will be eight and a half inches of clearance inside this box right here. All right, so add all the stuff, close the lids, and that is it. The Union, I'm gonna try to get the Union carved out so it looks really good. Um, because of the fine look, I don't know if I wanna burn it. <laughs> Once I paint the stripes and all that, but I would do some trial and error and see what looks better. In a nutshell, that's pretty much it.